A database isn't just the data it contains. It is also the tables holding that data and the relationships among them. In SQL, Data Definition Language, or DDL, is used to define and manage the structure of a database. Using a DDL script is a great way to migrate your database into InterSystem's Iris Data Platform, or to use the structure of an existing database to start a new one. Overall, the process involves two important steps. First, you export a DDL script from an external database or from InterSystem's Iris. Then, in the InterSystem's terminal, you run a command to import the script. InterSystems uses the information in the script to build the data tables and their relationships. Let's look in detail at these steps. First, create your DDL script. Every database management system includes a tool to export a DDL script, which is essentially a series of commands that define SQL tables, columns, and relationships. Once you have the exported DDL script, you need to compose the object script command that imports the script and creates the tables in InterSystems Iris. On the latest versions of InterSystems Iris, use the command do $system.sql.schema.import DDL, followed by three parameters inside parentheses. The first parameter is in file. Write the full path of the DDL script file you want imported. If your DDL script was created by MS SQL, Sybase, Informix, or MySQL, the in-file parameter will be a list. The first element of this list is the path of the DDL script, followed by a value for translate table, which tells the function how to parse the input stream. Add the second parameter log file, which is the full path name of the error log file. If any errors are encountered during import, the error text will be saved in the log file. This parameter is optional. If nothing is specified, the default is the same as in file with an underscore errors.log extension. Following the log file parameter is DDL mode. For this parameter, input the vendor you use to export the DDL script, such as InterSystems Iris or MySQL. The exact command to import your DDL script depends on which version of InterSystems Iris you are using. If you are using InterSystems Iris version 2020.1 or earlier, the command is do $system.sql.ddl import, followed by three required parameters and up to six optional parameters inside parentheses. DDL mode is the first parameter. The second parameter is no longer used and should be left blank. Next is the infile parameter, the full path name of the DDL script file you wish to import. The remaining parameters are optional, and you can include these if needed. One is the outfile parameter, the full path name of the file where any errors will be reported. The next two optional parameters are nosup, meaning not supported, and nosup file. The nosup parameter is a true-false flag where 1 equals true and 0 equals false. If this parameter is set to true, unsupported statements from the script file will be logged in the nosup file. The path name for nosup file can be specified in the next parameter, but the default is the same as the infile path name with the extension underscore unsupported.log. If the nosup parameter is set to false or left to default, the nosup file will not be created. After the nosup file parameter is DEOS, the parameter for the end of statement delimiter. This tells the DDL parser where one line ends and a new one begins. The DEOS parameter will default to an appropriate value based on the vendor specified in the parameter DDL mode. The eighth parameter, error pause, is the number of seconds that InterSystems Iris will pause if an error occurs while executing the DDL script. If this is not specified, the default is 5 seconds. Finally, the runtime mode parameter only applies when the DDL mode is InterSystems Iris. It specifies in which select mode to run the imported statement, ODBC, display, or logical. By default, logical mode is used. The syntax depends on which version of InterSystem Zyrus you are using, but the command is always executed in the same way and will return the same results. Run the command in an InterSystem Zyrus terminal. InterSystem Zyrus returns the input file and error log file, then lists each SQL command imported. 
An error log file is created even if there is nothing written to it. If you're using Intersystems Iris 2020.1 or earlier, and you set the parameter nosup to true, the unsupported log file is listed next. This log file is also created even if there is nothing written to it. Once you have imported the DDL script and resolved any errors, your database structure is ready to receive data. While SQL is an ISO ANSI standard, there are many variations to the DDL language with unique commands and syntax. Refer to the Intersystems Iris documentation website for details on compatible commands for DDL scripts from outside of Intersystems Iris.